is the second part of population growth. When you watch a movie, like an X-Men movie when the dam was breaking, or any others, or even your, with your family doctor, when you see someone who has technical knowledge you don't, and they look at a chart full of numbers, or they look at a graph on the screen and go, oh no, do you ever wonder what it is they saw? If a friend looks at a sheet of music in music notation, and they look at it and go, what a beautiful song. Do you see that? Do you, are you able to comprehend how they were able to hear the music by looking at the sheet of music? It's telling them a story. And the music notation is telling a story and song to somebody. If you read a joke and laughed while reading it, and you did that in front of a person who could not read, they would be mystified as to the scribbling on the paper told you something that made you laugh. So now we want to start looking at graphs like a story or like sheet music. We want to learn a new language and we want to see a graph and look at it um, to try to get an understanding. So the first thing we look at is, oh, this is Californian anchovy. Catches from 1950 to 2012. And this is how many tons of anchovies were collected. Does this to you, this catch, look sustainable? The peak catch was 400,000 tons a year. And then suddenly this happens. Is that the sign of a normal oscillating population? Ups and downs, ups and downs. Or does that look to you like the predator, us, have succeeded in wiping it out. If you were a government official, would you be telling fishermen to ease up on the fishing? Would the fishermen understand what happened in these years? This graph, spawning stock, biomass. This is a general one showing how many baby fish there are in a portion of the ocean from 1982 to 2013. Does this to you look like the curve of a stable population? Let's go back to a stable one so you understand. You see the bunnies, they have ups and downs, but is there a trend or is it a straight line? Do they seem to be running an average population or are they growing without bounds or shrinking without bounds? Let's look at this one. Does this population look like it's trending or is it stable? This one here shows a series of fish, cod, haddock, whitefish, Norway, pout, I don't know, from 1960 to today. This is the catch. How many fish people were able to catch? Does this look like the oceans are doing fine or are we overfishing? Here's another one, the Atlantic cod stocks. East coast of Newfoundland, 1992, when the fisheries collapsed. This was the catch. Then all of a sudden they caught this many. Now look what happens. And the fishermen still will sometimes say, why can't we go out and fish anymore? Why did the government ban fishing? This is the rhino population of the world from 1900 to now. One million rhino to barely showing on the graph. Is that a stable population with ups and downs or is it showing collapse? These are zebra mussels, and these are the native mussels. The zebra mussels got into the Great Lakes, and as the zebra mussel population went up, the native mussels went down. The zebra population collapsed, but then it peaked again. And the zebra mussels, if you look at the general trend, it's fairly stable. But if you look at the unionid, mussels, the native mussels, they have been crashed 
in population, though it seems like it may be slightly stable. Okay, so these were a couple graphs I wanted you to look at. And what you see is an overall scary trend, a tendency that human beings are the ultimate predator and we have not yet starved ourselves out, but we have succeeded in creating a downward trend on almost everything we want to eat because there's nothing stopping us. We produce such a surplus of food, but the way things are going, right? When you hear scientists saying the rhinos may become extinct, they're not making it up. And this is the data, okay? When the government told people no more fishing in the Atlantic Ocean and people in Newfoundland were complaining about Ottawa. Like, seriously, get in your fishing boat and go back out. There's nothing there anymore. It's not a case of the government being mean. You waited too long. They should have stopped fishing here when it crashed and they didn't do it quick enough. Now they're gone. 